Hi, my name is Andy Grace and I work in the operations and transformation team as a business analyst for RECO. In this session, I will talk to you about the market stabilisation charge or MSC project. Ofgem announced on the 16th of February 2022 a decision to introduce license condition 24A, the MSC, as a temporary measure to address risks to consumers posed by severe energy price volatility in the short term. Ofgem will be responsible for publishing and calculating the MSC charge. The charge will apply to switches at domestic supply points for both gas and electricity and will only take effect where the wholesale gas and or electricity prices fall significantly from those assumed in the calculation of the price cap. All suppliers acquiring a domestic customer will be required to pay the MSC to the losing supplier from 14th of April 2022, initially for a six month period, with the option for Ofgem to extend the scheme for a further six months. RECO's role in the MSC is to be the administrator for the charge and we are responsible for obtaining industry switching data, producing invoices for suppliers and reallocating funds to owed parties. There are two change proposals that will enable RECO to administer the MSC, R34 which introduced the barriers for RECO to operate the scheme and R35 which details the MSC solution and impacts on parties. RECO has procured gas and electricity switching and volume data from industry sources in order to be able to calculate the charges and will appoint a service provider to process the data, calculate invoice amounts and determine the funds that are required to be returned to parties who are owed credits. Once the scheme goes live on the 14th of April, RECO will obtain aggregated industry switching and volume data. Data will be collected at a daily granularity, detailing losing and gaining supplier combinations at meter point identifier and supplier short code level, how many sites have transferred between them and the associated volume, using the estimated annual consumptions for electricity and annual quantities for gas. This data will then be aggregated to a weekly position to correspond with the MSC. The first invoices for the scheme are due to be produced on the 30th of June, this will be an initial invoice covering the period from the start of the scheme and following this invoices will be produced on a four weekly basis. For each invoice in period, suppliers will receive an invoice or a credit note where any gains or losses and meter points have been netted off against each other for the four week period at a supplier level to include both gas and electricity. When RECO receives funds from parties who have been invoiced, these will be redistributed to any parties who are owed credits. If all funds are not received for a given invoicing period, the percentage total of funds will be equitably redistributed to parties who are owed, and any late payments will continue to be allocated to parties in subsequent invoice runs. To keep up to date with the MSC, there will be ongoing stakeholder engagement throughout the project, with a series of events planned and ongoing communication to the industry through the RECO website and newsletter. Thank you.